Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and we are about to get ourselves into a live troll attack inside of war, except this time there is a catch, Siri is gonna pick my army. So check it out, we are inside of a live war, we are winning 56 war stars to 51, we are against Mega Rich, massive shout out to the opposing clan, but we have also used 6 attacks less than them and are 5 war stars ahead, which means we have probably won this war. Now I just done an attack on their number 1 player, unfortunately I couldn't 3 star him, only got 77%, but we're about to go in for a live attack against their number 2 guys at Town Hall 11 right there. And we're going to let Siri pick my army. So this is going to be very interesting. I've never tried this before. It's going to be one of the funniest troll videos we've ever done. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get straight into it. Now this is how it's going to work. I think we're going to be using two different troops. So only going to use two troops. We're not going to use any wall breakers. We're not going to use, you know, we, it, this is just going to be so damn insane. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to ask Siri to pick... Uh, one or two, so we're gonna say one or two, one or two is either going to be, um, sorry, one is going to be elixir troops, and two is going to be dark elixir troops, so we're gonna go straight over to Siri, and we're gonna see which troop he wants to pick first, dark elixir or elixir. Siri, pick a number between one and two. Okay guys, so he has picked one, so Siri, he's a smart little boy. Alright guys, so Siri picked number one, so we're going to go straight into the elixir troops first. So this is how it's going to work, the barbarian is going to be one archers, two giants, three goblins, four, and so on and so forth. We're going to ask Siri to pick a number, let's just go into the minor barrack here, a number between two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, a number between one and twelve, and whichever number he picks, we are going to make 120 of those trooping spaces. Siri, pick a number between 1 and 12. Alright, there we go guys, he has chosen lucky number 7. Is it going to be lucky? Let's check it out. So number 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, we got wizards! We got loads of wizards, so we're going to fill 120 spaces with wizards. Wow, okay, so we're going to have to cut a couple of them off. Oh, perfect, perfect. So we have, how many wizards have we got? We have... 30 wizards inside of our army camp. Siri, this is going to be awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the dark barrack, of course. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 once again. So it's going to be a number between 1 and 7. Now I'm praying that Siri doesn't choose 5 and doesn't choose 6. If he chooses 5 or 6, then I'm in some serious trouble. Okay, what I want you guys to do, go down below into that comment section and take a guess. What number is Siri going to pick? Literally, go down below, guys. It will take you two seconds. Take a guess. What number is Siri going to pick? Whoever gets the right answer, you will win a shout-out. Oh, actually, I think loads of you are going to get the right answer, but just, just go take a guess. Siri, welcome back. Pick a number between one and seven. Yes, it wasn't five or six, guys. It wasn't five or six. Let's go check out what four was. Okay, so number four, it's Golems. Wow, okay, so not bad. Whoa, 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 not a bad army. So we literally have 30 Wizards and five. We got five Golems because we've got another Golem inside of the Clan Castle. So that is going to be our troll army. This is going to be pretty weird, I'm not going to lie. Definitely one of the strangest armies. Now let me show you the base we're going to be taking on. I'm going to hope for a two-star. I have no idea what's going to happen, guys. So it's a Town Hall 11 base. Multi-target Inferno Towers, but hopefully the Golems are going to distract. Don't forget, we do not have any. We literally have no Wall Breakers. Now, we're going to be attacking. I think we're going to attack from the Ego Artillery side over there. You never know. We could get extremely lucky here and somehow just completely wreck this base. Now, we have already got our spells ready, guys. Two Rage Spells, one Heal Spell, one Free Spell, and of course, the four Earthquakes. The heroes are ready, so uh, we're about to get ourselves into a live attack. So if you've made it this far into the episode, guys, go down below and leave a like on this video. Leaving one like will be one prayer for Tony to give him some good luck. Yeah, it'll basically give me some luck, guys. So please go down below, leave a like on this episode. Let's go for um, let's go for the same amount of XP we have, 4,595 XP. Let's see if we can get 5,000 likes on the episode. Please also do not forget if you are new to the channel and you have never seen it before, my name is of course General Tony and we do COC videos twice a day every single day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos. So here we go guys, we are about to get ourselves into a live attack using this Siri troll. It's pretty damn hilarious, I'm not going to lie. So uh, let's, let's wish me good luck. Let's go in for the attack. Here we go. 
So live attack coming in. Everyone is going to look at my uh, my actual army because there's going to be some live spectators in a few seconds time. And they're going to think, what the hell is Tony doing? So we're going to drop down one golem and uh, we're going to drop down the Barbarian King also. So one golem, Barbarian King, they should just about manage to get through those walls. We're going to drop down the Grand Warden and of course... A couple of wizards now as well. Wow, there's no six, there's no spectators inside of this. That's awesome. No one is watching. Here we go, guys. Eagle Artillery's just woken up. So there goes the other golems. There goes the golems in either the clan castle as well. Now here go down the wizards. Wizards, where are you going? We need you to go into the center of the base, please. Here we go, guys. Grand Warden's ability just been used because a big bomb has just exploded. We're going to drop down the free spell. Let's see what we can do here. Heal spell's going to go down. Come on. Come on, wizards. Make it into the center. No, what is going on? My troops are melting. No spectators, though. That's at least a good thing. Where's the queen? We're just going to use the queen's ability. She's over on the left-hand side. Wow, what a fail, guys. We've been completely wrecked here. The golems. Oh, no. Oh, there's the wizards. Here we go, guys. Here we go. If these wizards can take out the uh, the defending clan castle there, then it, it couldn't maybe not be too much of a problem. They're taking out that lava hound, guys. Here we go. They're going to take out the lava hound. There it pops. There it goes. The Grand Warden is still alive. Still got plenty of golems up and running. Loads of wizards still alive. Please don't welt my wizards. No, wizards. The wizards are dying, guys. We're up to 42%. Can we just get a one star? 43%. Come on, we're so close. We are closing in, guys. We are getting so close to the one star. No. Wow. Okay, yeah. That really didn't go too well. So 43%. That wasn't great, Siri. We failed. Well, you know what, guys? At least no one got to see my live attack. So everyone's going to go into the war and think, you know what, Tony done, didn't do a bad attack this war because no one saw it. We all saw my first attack. Let me just show you this, guys. Check this out. This was the uh, the attack I'd done previously on their top player. Now, check this out. I used 22 bowlers, and I was honestly thinking I was going to get the, uh, you know, just an easy three-star on this base. Let me just tell you a secret, guys. This is the secret from pushing to Legends League, I'm almost in Legends League. I'm at about 4,850 trophies. Since I've been pushing there, I found out a secret about this game. When you take on Town Hall 11s and Town Hall 10s, with especially with multi-target Inferno Towers, it is always best, and I don't know why I've done this, never attack the base directly. What I mean by that is never drop down the actual uh, the wall breakers and your army facing, you know, just a straight part of the base. Always attack from an angle because when you attack from an angle, it allows your bowlers, especially if you're using bowlers or any of those, you know, those kind of splash damage troops. When you're using a troops like that and you attack from an angle, it kind of allows them to, you know, spread out like a like an arrow and just completely dominate the base. But I realized when you attack from a center like this, you kind of get stuck, you get compressed, you get squished. So that is like that is just literally like a top tip. I would honestly say it's like a secret tip of the game because no one has ever talked about it and I don't really know why. But yeah, trust me guys, try it out. Attack from an angle, maybe attack from there. Now obviously you may need to bring a couple more wall breakers, but that's fine. Drop a wizard or so. Bring a couple of more wall breakers and I promise you, you will notice a massive difference. So check this out guys. We have 22 bowlers there. We dropped down the free spell on those Inferno Towers. This, I don't know wh where my bowlers go. They just all die. What happened to them? I have no idea where all of my troops went. It looks like they just kind of melted, guys. The actual balloon was destroying my king and a couple of the troops in the center. The heroes were still up and alive, but it just didn't really go to plan. I was honestly expecting like an easier three star on this base. Turns out we just completely flopped it. So check it out. The heroes in the center. The rage spells up and alive there. And of course, the wizards. Not the wizards, sorry. Uh, the wizards. That was a previous way. The Grand Ward and the Queen. And the King all on max health, so it was definitely one of the strangest raids I've ever done. All of the bowlers died, the golem died, all of the wizards died, but the heroes, nice and green in the center. Of course, there were just way too many buildings for them all to take on. The healers didn't spread themselves out properly, and as soon as the Queen went down, I knew it was game over. So the King is still up and alive, guys, but of course, he is going to get taken out by a couple... Oh no, he doesn't get taken out, actually. The, the, uh, the battle runs out of time. So we did manage to get a total of, I think, 77% inside of this raid. So not too bad, not too bad. As I said, I was hoping for a three-star. So we are going to end this episode here. Has anyone said anything inside of the chat? Has anyone said anything? Yeah, I'm not really too sure, guys. So we are going to end this video here. I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time for a second episode. Check our trophies. 4,836. We are only 164 away from the Legends League. Peace out.